Hey there, Leanne Frey here with Fit Made Simple. And if you are new to this channel, then welcome, a special welcome to you. Please make sure to like and subscribe below. And that way I will make sure to um, send you new workouts as I release them every Wednesday. So this Wednesday, what I'm going to do for, you, for the workout, the full workout, it's going to be a mini workout. I'm taking a segment from my live Hit 30 class this morning. So you're gonna have a three minute warm up and then a block of exercises that will be a total of 10 minutes work. So that'll be your mini workout today and you can get a taste of my fit hit 30, um, 30 minute hit format workout, which I teach live every Wednesday. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Has a good workout. You'll do your own cool down. I'm just gonna uh, release a block of it for you. You just need weights. <clears throat> and um, the format is gonna be 45 seconds of your bout of hard effort. So whatever that is to you. And then you'll have 15 seconds to rest, recover. And what we're gonna do today are some boxing moves, just basic boxing moves because they're simple and um, easy to slide in there for that 15 second recovery period. All right, so enjoy and let me know what you think. All right, so scratch my mosquito bite and then we'll get started. Oh, hang on. I told you I have to have a good sense of humor. I didn't put your workout up. I had my last client's workout up. You don't wanna do that. All right, now you got it. So start with some knee hugs. Start with your knee hugs. All right, we're going to switch over to some toe touches and we're going to stay on just one side. So with the right leg, you're going to touch with the opposite toe. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Get your hamstrings low back. So like I said, we're going to have 45 seconds of work. That's your bout of hard work. And then we're going to mix it with about 15 seconds really quick today of your recovery. So lighter work, right? And I'm going to mix in just basic boxing punches. Now switch sides. Basic boxing moves for those because they don't require any equipment and they're pretty basic and they're easy to catch on to for 15 seconds. So you're working just not with as much intensity. One more. Now go into squats. So legs wide, drop your hips, come back up. We got some of these today, so we want to warm up these muscles. Now give me a squat, shoulder rolls. Squat shoulder rolls two more squat shoulder rolls squat shoulder rolls now hip hinge give me that little deadlift movement hip hinge you got some of these coming warm up the hips in the back now add sweep overhead thumbs are leading hip hinge sweep over hip hinge from the hips shoulders and upper back two more and then last one, that's it. Now we gotta warm up the hips a little more. So hip circles out, you're stepping over the fence and back, out and back. This is just one of my base hip warm up exercises. All right, next leg, step over the fence and then come back. You got two more, then we'll do a full body stretch and then you'll be ready to go. Last one. Now you're going to reach all the way up. You're going to dive down. You're going to roll up slowly one vertebra at a time. Shoulder rolls. Let's throw in one more. I got a few more seconds. I thought we'd be out of time. Dive down. Keep your knees soft and roll up one vertebra at a time. Now you're going to start off with a heavy set of weights. Okay, we're going to do... <clears throat> We're going to do a, um, and if you want, I'm going to show you both weights, but you can use one if you want less intensity. But remember, this is your hard work effort. You're going to take your right leg, you're going to reverse lunge, and then I want you to rotate. We're going to add some balance and core over the left leg. And then you're going to switch sides. Reverse lunge, rotate over the front leg, and then back. Remember, option two is to hang on to one heavy dumbbell. Okay, your choice. So start off with the right leg, lunge back. Rotate over the front thigh. Pull yourself up. Switch legs. Reverse lunge. Rotate over the front leg. Pull yourself up. One heavy weight or two. You decide. But this is your bout of work. And it's 45 seconds. And then we're just going to quickly lay down this weight and do a simple 15 second 
little right left jab combo all right kids we're working on five seconds four three two and one go ahead and quickly lay that down you're gonna plant your feet get your elbows in boxer stance right left right left and you can play around with it if you want you can go right left right left whatever you want to do I'm punching out knuckles on top you've already got three two and one and that's it all right grab one heavy weight one heavy weight I'm gonna set it up for you all right legs wide okay set the weight in front of you okay so put your hands on the ground hop or step back in a plank so squat thrust hop or step back in low pick up the weight push it front all right hop or step back to a plank hop or step back in low weights in the heels pick up the weight push front so we're back to those combo moves weights in the heels lift that head you know what you don't want to do is this right stay low hop or step hop or step back in stay low press front last one guys last one step back in pick it up press front leave that weight down there right jab left cross right jab front left cross so my knees are soft right jab left cross right jab left cross last one right jab left cross weighted lateral squats so two weights if you can hold them in front get on one side you're gonna be taking two steps to the left sit into it stay low staying low you're gonna give me two moving squats staying low you're coming back all right if you need to lessen the intensity hang on to one heavy one this is your work though I want you pushing it here keep going I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side I'm see, sitting in my heels make sure you're up make sure you're not here all the weights in the heels keep going three two and one finish that out set your weight down so now you've got right cross left jab right cross left jab now you can make these move dynamic right so it doesn't have to be here punch 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 three two and one okay one weight I'm gonna go down to moderate and I'll show you why I'm gonna do a deadlift here I'm gonna stay hinged sweep my weight overhead sweep it back down come up so if you can do that with a heavy weight that's fine knees are soft hinge over in your deadlift sweep the weight overhead get some shoulders and back and then come up hinge over sweep sweep it back down hinge sweep overhead sweep back down come up stay with it now remember you'll see all these again and that is it go ahead and set that down big march and they're gonna add front punches so my knees are coming up high knee march so this is your recovery period and it's only for four three two and one all right get weights now we're only going 45 seconds you can press up in a V I'm gonna try with my heavy ones get your legs wide hold your weights here sumo squat sink into the heels press out in a V if you have shoulder issues do lighter weights or go through the motion with no weight sink into the heels press up in a V sink into the heels press up in a V come on you got 19 seconds I'm feeling this one how much demand can you put on your body for these 45 seconds not anybody else just you five four three two and one finish that one put that down all right so side to side and then get some flurries going so real quick real quick right left right left Whew. four three two and one all right round two guys get your heavy weights optional one weight or two 
You're going to reverse lunge, right leg back. Rotate over the front leg. Pull yourself up. Reverse lunge. Rotate over the front leg. Now, you already know what's coming, these five exercises. So you choose. You can use one heavy weight or two. I'm trying the two. I've only got to make it 12 more seconds. Trying to give it everything I've got for eight more seconds. And then we got right, left punches, okay? That's your recovery. Three, two, and one. All right, set those down. Plant your feet. Right, left, right, left. And you can go double right, double left, whatever you want to do. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys. Get your one heavy weight. This is going to be a press front. Legs wide, hands on the ground. Hopper, step back to a plank. Hopper, step back in. Pick up the weight, look straight ahead. Press it front. Step back to a plank or hop. Step back in. Booty down, head up. Press it front. <clears throat> now it's important when you come in that the weight's in your heels so you don't hurt your knees. Come on, 15 more seconds. This is a lot of demand. This is full body. Everything's working. This will be my last one. Weights in the heels, drop back into it, lift the head, press front. Leave the weight down. Whew. Here we go. Right jab, left cross. Right jab, left cross. Right jab, left cross. So notice, all these moves are simple because you're only doing them for 15 seconds. Last one. Weighted lateral moving squat. So one weight or two. You pick. I'm going to try the two. Feet are together. Sit into it. Step out. Back together. So notice when I step out, my legs are just hip width apart. So I'm not like leaning into it. And then take two steps back. Stay low. Step out, back together, out, back together. Try to keep the weight evenly distributed. That's the hard part. The tendency is going to be want to go like this. Stay up. Keep your trunk over those legs when you step out. Four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm going to set those down real quick. Right cross, left jab, cross, jab, cross, jab. Little Tybo here, bringing back some memories. Three, two, and one. Shake that out, get one weight. This is the hinge with the sweep. <clears throat> All right, guys, from the hips, my knees are soft. Hinge over, sweep that overhead, sweep down, come back up. Hinge, sweep the arms overhead, back down. So you're working against gravity with those <clears throat> upper body movement. So that makes it a lot tougher than if I were to do this upright. <sighs> Hinge over, sweep, make sure to control it coming down. Guys, you got nine seconds. Hinge, sweep, sweep it down, squeeze the glutes at the top. Last one, sweep, bring it down, and then step up. Give me some marches, big marches, and then add your front punches. Big march, front punch. Whew. Okay, we got one more in this block. It's gonna be sumo with those V reaches to so be thinking about the weight. Two, one, and done. All right, I'm gonna try my heavy ones again. If you need to go down to the medium ones, that's fine. Legs in a V. Hold the weight at the shoulder. Sink into your sumo. Push up in a V. So up at an angle and my palms are facing in. That just feels a little more comfortable on the shoulders. Weights in the heels. Push up in the V. Whew. Feels a whole lot heavier than that first round. 12 seconds. Then we'll have side to side flurries for 15. Then you get a water break. Three, two, and one. Set those down. 
Make sure you got enough room to go side to side, side to side. Add the flurries. If your arms need a break, just go side to side. Got a water break coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Thank goodness I needed it. <clears throat> mm. You only need one heavy weight for the first one. New block, five exercises. <clears throat> 